Hello darlings, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for today's video. It is the fifth video as part of the Fashion Mumbler Autumn Edit and it's probably the most requested of all of the videos. It is my Autumn Zara haul. If you are just joining me for this video then hello and welcome. You're joining me and a really good time here on my YouTube channel because we're doing a whole week of autumn style videos. So far we've already had a video about autumn investment pieces, we've had a video about autumn basics, an ASOS haul, things like that and there is still so much to come so I would love it if you hit the subscribe button and then you won't miss any of my future videos. Also be sure to turn on that little notification bell so that you are notified when I post a new video. Before I get started as well, shout out to this dress which I featured in one of the previous videos in the Fashion Mumbler Autumn Edit. It is literally the perfect jumper dress for this time of year and I love layering it with a couple of different necklaces. I'll leave this dress linked down below as well as everything that I mention in today's video. So I went um, a couple of days ago to the Zara on Duke of York Square in Chelsea. That's probably my favourite Zara, not just because it allows dogs in there, but I find that they have a really good product selection and especially at this time of year I think that they have a lot of trend pieces at really really good price levels. So let me show you the pieces that I bought. First First of all I picked up this and this is a really strange texture, it almost feels like leather but it was $49.99 so it's definitely not leather, it is a very dark snake skirt. You guys probably know that I'm obsessed with the snake print pattern at the moment, I have got my um, dress, my skirt, my blouse, so many, oh my shoes as well, I basically have everything um, snake print in my wardrobe, I am loving that trend. So when I saw this I thought this is a really nice more kind of autumnal colour and way of wearing the snake trend. I love midi skirts, I love pleated midi skirts, as you will know if you've seen any of my previous videos pretty much, and this I thought was going to be the perfect thing to pair with perhaps a brown roll neck like my cashmere one from the ASOS haul, and just be a perfect way of making a very on-trend autumn outfit very feminine and very true to my personal style. So I'll show you on the screen now what it looks like on, pairing it with the cashmere roll neck from from the ASOS haul, also everything that I am styling these items with I will also leave linked down below. And I just feel like it's really good quality for the price tag, very on trend, but also still quite classic, even if something is hugely on trend and still quite affordable, I won't tend to buy it unless I can see myself wearing it in future seasons. So this is a trend that I think is going to stand the test of time, so I was very happy to spend almost £50 on this skirt. Now if you've seen many of my previous fashion videos, you'll know that I don't normally wear jeans. In fact, I find jeans just rather boring and I prefer to, if I am going to wear something like a denim pair of trousers, I like them to be a little bit more on trend. So I picked up this pair of trousers and I've been looking for something like this which is a very relaxed fit, so it's going to be really good for those more casual days, but can be styled up, made a little bit smarter perhaps with a silky blouse or made casual with a chunky polo neck or roll neck jumper. I think that's a really lovely classic combination for autumn. They're very high waisted so if you do have short legs like me then they're very very flattering and I find that the footwear that you can pair with such wide leg trousers you have so many different options. I might pair them with a pair of court shoes or even a pair of boots as the temperatures drop. The best thing about these however was the price. These were 20 9.99 which is absolutely amazing and I have been very impressed with the uh, longevity of the quality of Zara denim in the past so hopefully these will last me throughout the season and into next year as well. Next up this is something that I picked up on an impulse and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it because I don't know if I absolutely need this in my wardrobe but it is this very sweet faux leather skirt. This is the time of year when the temperatures are yet to drop so it's nice to keep your legs out for a little bit longer but it can be tricky to find the perfect autumnal skirt but I thought this was pretty close. It's a very soft faux leather, it almost feels like a buttery lambskin leather, um, or lamb's leather, is that what you call it? And it's got the button details, pockets on the front, all the design details that I really, really like. It is quite short, as you can see from the try-on clip, but it was from the TRF collection, so very affordable at £25.99. So if you are looking for the perfect autumn skirt, I think this one is definitely worth trying. 
Do I need it though? I would probably wear my suede skirts, which I love to pieces instead of wearing for this. So it might be one that I will keep on my rail for a couple of weeks, see if I start it up and I wear it. If not, I will take it back. Next is an accessory and I have to give a shout out to another blogger for inspiring this purchase, Hannah from Coco Beauty. Her YouTube channel is just absolutely beautiful, such gorgeous styling in her videos and in person. I spent some time with her at the Liz Earl trip down in Salcombe and was just in love with everything that she wore throughout the weekend, including this pair of earrings. These were $9.99, so very, very affordable. And I think they're just a very simple but stylish addition to an outfit. I'm loving the whole hair pinned back sunglasses and statement earrings at the moment. So this is another pair to add to my collection and they are mixed metals. You can see they are yellow, gold and silver. So no matter what other color jewelry you're wearing, these will hopefully go very well with those. Next up, this I actually asked a member of staff to see if they could find it in my size but they didn't have it so I ended up going for a medium whereas I would normally go for a small or an extra small but I thought it was so fab that I couldn't put it down. Here in the UK the weather is very unpredictable so having a stylish rain mac I would say is an essential and this is just super practical and let's not beat around the bush it definitely looks like a Burberry mac so I love that about it. I don't think I'm quite at the place where I want to spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on a actual Burberry raincoat but a I think I think this was 49.99 Zara version I'm more than happy to spend so it is a raincoat it's gonna shelter you from any drizzly days and I find this sort of thing really practical for walking the dogs or just nipping to the shops and again it is so so classic it's got the tartan lining the very neutral lovely beige and this is really soft as well it's not like a sticky raincoat material it almost feels like a really soft leather feels very good quality and I mean, it's a raincoat, so it doesn't need to be super, super luxurious. But having said that, all the details on this are really nice. You've got the buttons at the top to really protect yourself from the wind. You've also got nice deep pockets for dog treats, poo bags, that kind of thing. So yeah, very stylish. And I'm very impressed with that raincoat from Zara. Something else which they didn't have in my size but I thought would look pretty nice oversized is this leopard print blouse. I thought this would look really nice just with a pair of white jeans, perhaps my ASOS white cord jeans. I thought this would look really, really fab. As we know, and if you watched my autumn winter 2018 trends video, which I'll leave linked up on the screen if you haven't seen it yet, animal prints is just the biggest trend of this autumn winter season and I think that for smart workwear perhaps this is a really lovely way of incorporating that trend. Blouses like this are a really affordable way of injecting that animal print trend into your wardrobe whether it is workwear or a more casual look. This was $39.99 and again I do have the size medium I think it'll look really nice oversized but um, let me know what you think from the try on clips if I should exchange for a smaller size or not. And then last but not least, this is quite possibly my favourite item from the haul and I actually saw this on a mannequin in the window and beelined for it when I went into the store. It is this really beautiful dress. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, Josie LDN, you may know that I tried on something very similar to this in Kate Spade. If you remember my blue floral Kate Spade summer dress, I'll insert a picture of it on the screen here. I wore that dress so much. I just absolutely loved it. I still love it, but it's very spring summery. And then Kate Spade released this dress, which is basically the exact same shape, the same cut and style, but in a more autumnal colourway. However, they increased the price and also they didn't have my size in the Kate Spade on Regent Street. So when I saw this, I thought it was so similar and a fraction of the price, the Kate Spade one, I think is, I think it's actually over £400. This was £79.99, so not mega, mega cheap, but a lot cheaper than the Kate Spade dress. And to be honest, I can wear this on all the occasions that I would have worn the Kate Spade dress. I'll probably wear a slip underneath because it is quite sheer. I think actually for that price they probably should have given you a slip underneath. Maybe they normally do come with one but it doesn't look like there's any catches on the shoulders where one has fallen out. Oh my gosh! <laughs> there actually is a slip in here but it's also so sheer that I don't know if it's going to do a terribly good job. We'll soon find out. You'll be able to see from the try on clip if my underwear is visible. But the perfect autumn dress, this can be styled up obviously with a wool coat to make it super warm. You can wear this with a gilet, a pair of boots, very bohemian. And again, this is such a lovely way of looking very feminine, very elegant and very on trend for the autumn season without spending a huge, huge amount of money. So those are the pieces that I picked up on my recent trip to Zara. I would love to know if you guys have found anything amazing in your local Zaras. I find it so 
funny that Zara is everywhere. Every country pretty much in the world has a Zara and nearly always they have the same things. So no matter where you are in the world, let me know what you've picked up from Zara lately, if there's anything on your wish list, if any of these have inspired you to take a trip into the store. And that's all from me. I really hope you enjoyed looking through these pieces. Stay tuned for more. As part of the Fashion Mumbler Autumn Edit, we've got some more really exciting videos coming very soon, including a autumn lookbook and styling ideas video. So give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for that. And and if you would like to see more Zara hauls here on my channel, sorry about the lighting by the way, the sun is beautiful today but it's going in and out the clouds. I'm gonna go outside now and play with my boys, you probably just heard them barking in the background. But that's all from me, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I am a woman, not here to please you. It's time to move on cause my time is now.